Hi, I'm Victoria Aveyard. I'm the author of Red Queen and Glass Sword, and hopefully it's going to be a movie. Fingers crossed. I'm really excited to see Mare um, discover her electrical ability along with everybody else. She basically falls into an arena like a lightning bolt, literally. And uh, I think that'll be really, really visual and a cool thing to see on screen. The location I'm most excited to see on screen would probably be the Bowl of Bones, uh, again, an arena. I'm re I really love the movie Gladiator, so anything that's sort of the Coliseum gladiatorial inspired stuff would be really interesting to see how we put a modern supernatural edge on that. I'd also really love to see the, um, the cities that are built on top of existing things, so the old from the new, that kind of thing. If I were to cameo in the movie, if I wanted to cameo in the movie, which I don't. Um, I would probably just want to be like a silver in one of the big party scenes, probably at the buffet table. <laughs> the thing with meeting quote unquote celebrities, uh, the best thing to remember is just, you know, they're also normal people and you can just talk to them like a normal human would. Um, it was really fun because uh, it was a business meeting, so I can kind of compartmentalize the inner fangirl of, oh, that's Effie and she's a fantastic, really, really intelligent director. Uh, so basically it was just like a little chat about the story and how much she likes it and how much we both want to do justice to it and how the whole team is really on board. When I found out that the film option had been picked up, I was at this point in time driving kids home from my mom's school for cash. So I had just dropped off the kids and I was in the car and my phone rang and I had the two of my managers, one of the producers and uh, my lawyer on the phone and they were all saying, Oh, 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 we have to talk, we have to talk. And I was running into CVS to buy a greeting card. And I was like, oh, okay. So I was in the greeting card like aisle and they told me, oh, we think here's the offers and we decided to go with Universal. And that was all very surreal. And then I picked out my greeting card and went home and was like, huh, this is really picking up. This is really happening. One of my very first memories as a kid is the Universal logo spinning before I would watch ET when I was very little. So knowing that um, there's a possibility that that could be in front of something that came from my brain really, really cool. I mean, just from this year, there have been some really, really fantastic YAs. We're sort of in like a golden age. It's an embarrassment of riches. Um, one of my favorites from this year was probably The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Ajay. I love that book and I would love to see that on screen. So, I, I mean, we haven't had anything like that since Oh God, Prince of Persia and it was terrible and it was really poorly done. Um, and then going back to Aladdin, so I would really love to get into the whole Thousand One Nights Shahrazadi storyline again.